Hello. OK, great. Uh, we're about to start. Hello again. Thank you for joining and I hope you're doing great. Uh, we have a couple of uh, things to discuss today. Um, first of all, um, your first assignment that involves the cross check procedure. I hope that's everyone uh, uh, check the docs on RS app platform regarding the cross check procedure and you submitted the task for the cross check. Just to remind you uh, that the latest assignments relative to your CV uh, introduces two uh, ways of uh, checking. First is uh, auto test uh, check that will automatically set the score uh, to the table and the cross check uh, uh, that's for which you will get the uh, score separately. Uh, for ensuring that uh, you everything is right and uh, your work was evaluated correctly uh, in terms of auto test, you should uh, met all the uh, scoring criteria right here um, because otherwise uh, some tests will fail and in, that, in such case the score will be lowered unfortunately. As for the cross check, uh, you'll be given several uh, several deployments of the work to uh, as, as assess it and uh, put your mark with the feedback. Uh, uh, um, I just like to ask you uh, to be polite to every uh, student while checking the work and use only scoring criteria to evaluate the work. Uh, in case if you see that something is is not looking quite good in terms of code, you could leave the feedback for for a student, but please don't lower the score uh, because of the code. Uh, only use the uh, acceptance criteria uh, given in the task description. Uh, another thing. Uh, since we're dealing with the cross check and uh, we will get a possible question that something is not quite correct in terms of verification. Uh, just the last call for you to update your RS app profiles by adding your Discord and any other contact info that could be useful for others uh, in case if they want to reach you. Um, yeah. Uh, and again, <laughs> another uh, once again, I will uh, highlight to you. Please pay attention uh, to the announcements, uh, to the info that we provide here, uh, to the question that we've discussed during the Q and A sessions, because like we are uh, we're trying to create a friendly atmosphere for everyone, uh, and please ensure that you are aware about the deadlines, because well, we're keeping. Uh, the atmosphere like on the as a regular project with the strict deadlines. I would propose you to start keeping to the deadlines because of, in the first place it will be useful for you in the future uh, to keep tracking to uh, stick with the deadlines. And the second one, uh, if you will not stick to the deadlines, unfortunately, uh, you will not be able to pass the course better. Uh, so please be careful about that. And just one more time, please ask your questions in case if something is not clear for you. For example, if you're not, if you don't sure about whether uh, in terms of task verification about the deadlines or any other info regarding the course. So please uh, ask the coordinators. Uh, they will have definitely help you. So please uh, ask your questions in case something is not clear. So that uh, will be more productive. Well, for the previous week, I guess that's quite obvious. The test should be finished on the REST app as well as the task should be submitted for cross check and for auto test. The next week will be dedicated uh, to the following modules uh, along 
with the cross check process that should be finalized to you during this week. So you have one week to uh, perform the cross check for other students and provide your feedback with the score. Um, as well as the theoretical test on the RSF platform dedicated to the GS basics. And even though the rest of the uh, modules doesn't have practical assignments, uh, uh, for example, Figma and DevTools, but still it's quite recommended for you uh, that you will spend your time uh, getting info about this or that particular module because, well, the DevTools is <laughs> Uh, mostly used in development, and that will be useful for you if you spend some time uh, getting ready with the modules. Great. Uh, I believe I didn't forget anything that I wanted to highlight for your today's session. Uh, I don't know, Anna, Andre, if I told something or you have something to add. Not from my side. Okay, great. Uh, in such case, let's uh, jump into our actual Q&A session and uh, waiting for you to ask us something. Um, okay, Alicia, please go ahead. Hello, hope you're doing great. Uh, my question is going to be about the actual cross check. Okay. It's going to be about it. Uh, if you can go to the uh, 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 scoring criteria, please. Okay. Just, just to make sure, what exactly, what exactly you mean by that? Is uh, like there are semantic text in the code to pay attention? They should be logically used, not just for points. What it means? It means that uh, you used uh, such task, uh, text for exactly the purpose. That's I. Uh, these tags are designed for not just putting the div tags for everything on the page, but use semantic tags for marking that the block is exactly the header, the footer, uh, the region that is used for the content is main, along with other semantic tags uh, that is designed for semantic layout. Okay. If, for example, someone makes I don't know a header. Uh, hidden. Is it logically used or is it just for points? Like I want to understand these kind of like variations. Like if someone making like nav, well na navigation you can't make hidden, whatever. Like yeah, header. For example, header is hidden. Uh, so if your page doesn't contain a header. But no, it does I, uh, contain, contain code. Can HTML has a uh, HTML has a header, but we are making it hidden with CSS. Well, okay, it's, it's so strange. We have a classic header at the top of your application or at your page. And yes, it shouldn't be hidden. So okay, this way, I suppose it's kind of just for points. So we use a uh, tag header just to use it. Yes, OK, because I saw this example. So that's why I'm asking. Yeah, it's uh, really strange. I agree. <laughs> OK. Uh, then next one, horizontal center layout and decrease in the browser width, the layout still in the center. We are, take, uh, we are talking about it being horizontal centered, not responsive, right? Yes, correct. Just centered. Okay. Uh, the photo exists, the alt attribute is present. Uh, I remember last week we talked about photo and 
we me and any photo right like if it's photo of a cat if it's photo of i don't know pepsi cola standing in the view of the mountain we are still counting it just until it has an alt attribute right yeah correct okay uh brief information about yourself uh, just whatever until we have something written there right yes we don't have strict requirements for the info but uh, uh, yes. yeah, uh, last time I mentioned that uh, the CV that you created right now could be potentially used within the current course run or potentially uh, whenever you complete the course, it could be uh, useful for you to add some more information uh, for the future employment. So for that, for such purpose, uh, we uh, recommended you to spend the time on your CV uh, to add the info. But we don't have like any strict agreement on, uh, on the amount of the info, right? You could like just give the a couple of sentences about yourself and that's it. But uh, <laughs> here we mostly evaluate not the quality of info, but uh, the structure of the page. Right, I do get that. I, I don't get that idea, but we already got like interesting um, like in Discord, in Crosscheck, you already can see people evaluating uh, students' work, and something is like cute. <laughs> That's why I want like to go through it again, just to understand that everyone is on the same page, at least for something. <laughs> Guys, uh, if you are not agree with the score, with the feedback, comments, and something else, please uh, look for the rules of appellation. Uh, I believe our activist is fair enough, and they will uh, provide you the real mark and the fair uh, feedback. So don't worry if you need to appeal. I agree it's um, kind of shit may happen, so the issues may happen. And I will update the score in case uh, the activists will agree with you and um, decrease or make it higher your score after appellation. Trust me, I'm not worried about that. I know that we have a build system. I know, like, yes, this documentation, I read it. I passed the first test. Thank you. And I get it. <laughs> the problem is that by the end of this week, we will have, like, again, the same situation as we have this week. And just to go over this again, so we will ha have at least some chance of making it, like, um, less painful. I don't know how to else say it. Like if we don't, if we only check the semantic, the, the semantics and the actual code in the dev tools, I at least want to make sure that everyone is on the same page. I hope let's see at the end of this week. I hope. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I think. Um. What was else? Um. FEMA and DevTools tasks, we don't have any any task for it for themselves, right? My other question is that I am getting confused. Uh, for these QA sessions, that's my confusion personal. We are we need to check uh, what material do we have for the next week that we are talking about, or we are having questions of the weeks that passed already. Every everything relative to the course, it could be for the future week, for the past week uh whatever the question you want so in case if something is not clear in terms of uh, the previous uh topics yeah please feel free to ask that's the actual purpose of the q a not to ask about the latest news uh, what is happening on the course but also make everything clear for everyone in terms of uh like the previous topics as well mostly okay. about the previous topics Okay, then I have the questions that we already like we talked about. Uh, we have this uh, after tests 
and we have J uh, we have the first part of JavaScript uh, Best Buy. And I as like not the only one. I got one question incorrect. And we talked about that we can't have all the answers to the questions. But my question is, how can I find out <laughs> them? <laughs> how can I find out what was my mistake? Like if it was one question that I can't find, who can I ask? As I mentioned many times, I can help you. Please reach me in the private yeah. and yeah, we'll I discuss do. your issue. I will not. Uh, tell you about what exactly answer was, uh, but uh, I will try yeah, my, to help you to find the issue. Yeah, my problem is that I did reach out. Another my problem is that I'm confused. Should I reach out in the first place? I did reach out. You didn't answer anything. That's why I'm like asking, like, can I reach out again? Sure. I, I do. I, I can imagine that you have a lot of DMs open at this point. God bless your nerve system. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I can reach out again just to check. Like, I, that's all I need. I don't need an answer. I need, like, the question. I need to understand what the question was wrong that I did. Okay, reach me in, uh, in private. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, that's all for me. Yeah, thank you so much for <laughs> such a thank great you. amount of questions. That's really helpful. Great, thanks. Let's uh, carry on. Ernesto. Hi, guys. Uh, yeah, so my question was, uh, it's basically because Alessa already asked it. I saw on Discord uh, there was a, somebody did a cross check for somebody's work and they reduced the points because uh, the website was not responsive. And you mentioned that the website does not have to be responsive. So does that mean if anybody reduces my points, um, I'm able to appeal? Uh, yes, again. Uh, well, after our Q&A session uh, will end, uh, we'll again send the link for the description of the appellation process. But yeah, uh, we do not need to make everything responsive, uh, responsive right now. Because uh, for the responsiveness, there will be other assignments and modules just dedicated to it. So for now, we're just making the layout uh, fixed width and centered. And that's what was the uh, action about. Sorry, uh, is it possible maybe to add um, some sort of sentence or something on the scoring table? Because it looks like people do miss that point just so it's clear for everyone. I mean, on your GitHub here, uh, where you have the scoring table. Mm -hmm. So you want to clarify on the point regarding uh, the centering, the layout? Yeah, I'd say if you just put it in a bracket saying it does not have to be responsive yet or something like that. So it's clear for everyone what that centered means. That centered means centered, layout is centered, not responsive. Okay, great. Well, that's uh, just a suggestion um, to make it clear for uh, for the reviewers, basically, and to avoid uh, going through the appeal process. Yeah. Okay. Well, I did it accordingly. Thank you so much. Thanks, Paolo. Okay. Great. Uh, anything else to ask? No, that's it for me. Thank you. Okay, great. Thanks, Debbie. You're the the second one. Um, okay, so my, I don't know, it's not really a question, but like a suggestion, and it's um, about the cross check. So if you, if you guys, if you like check the, uh, what's it called, the, the GitHub page, that's the tax, the cross um, page on GitHub, for the, um, for the tax, HTML, CSS, and Git, we you do, you guys do put how to submit that on auto test, but for the cross check, you guys did not put it, and it's quite confusing to be honest. Which I guess um, a lot of people miss out on that. It should have been nice if you guys like can put it like how to submit for cross check, go to cross check, and everything. Because a lot of people are so busy that they only just um, just 
go through this thing in their free time. Um, due to their business and some other things, they might have just missed out some little, little mistakes. Oh yeah, I understand that um, there's the documentation to refer back to and everything, but one can deny the fact that these deadlines are getting um, shorter and shorter, like as, it, as we progress, as the cost gets tough. And that makes it difficult for people that have little time to put to this um, cost. By the way, I did miss the deadline, so it's not like I'm saying that because I missed the deadline or something or something. I just feel I should say that um, because it's right. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Okay, well, um, how to distribute the answer? Okay, um, first everyone has like the busy schedule, I believe uh, also the coordinators, they do have the busy schedule to prepare everything. But uh, yeah, what? how can we help you with uh, uh, passing the course is to provide like the latest updates to communicate with you. And I believe that you have a busy time, but uh, taking uh, a couple of minutes to uh, check the schedule and the latest announcements in case uh, for you to ensure that you don't miss anything. I believe that is achievable. Yeah, well, for everything we have to submit, I feel it should be on the GitHub so that no one will have um, excuse. Like, to be honest, not everyone checks um, Discord notification and all these things. Some people don't even have Discord, that's the truth. They depend on what you guys provide as the guide, which is the schedule that is on GitHub. So I feel how to storm is cross check. That like should be on the, um, what's it called? On the tax page. For example, you can be just below the criteria because they will definitely click on the link so that no one will have excuse that, oh, I didn't know we are supposed to submit. Oh, it wasn't spelled out or something. Well, as I said, just a suggestion anyways. Um, I feel that would make it easier for so many people. Uh, yeah, but yeah, well, for the Discord notification purposes, well, you don't need to read uh, everything that is happens on the server, but at least to keep uh, keep your eye on the announcement channel where the latest info is uh, passed for you, for to to ensure that you don't like uh, miss anything. Yeah, just also recommendation for you. <laughs> But okay, we got the idea. Thank you. Okay, great. Let's check the chats. Great. Uh, guys, do you have anything else to ask? Yeah, I see a bunch of messages in chats. Centered. Great. Looks like the questions in the chat already answered, I believe. If not, please. If something is not uh, yet answered on the current session, yep. Yeah, so please let us know. Right, so, what about that one time you will allow us to submit cross check? Oh, well. Well, the deadline for submission of the cross check is already passed, unfortunately. But so for in such case, I would recommend not to uh, to be attentive next time and not to miss the deadlines. Uh, okay. Anything else to ask? of the misunderstanding. Oh, well, not sure where was the misunderstanding because, well, last Q&A session, yeah, we were talking about that the task was will be uh, checked by two ways and you already aware about that. Okay, uh, so maybe question to Anna. How do you think, uh, what should we do in this case? Do we uh, go forward with the next deadlines or, yeah, because it seems like um, most of the, the future deadline is uh, done, but as I mentioned in the Discord, 
you may uh, make the appellation, uh, but notice that you missed the deadline, so you would ask uh, our activists to check your task. Okay, so I hope that will be the answer. So in case you've missed the deadline, well, you can try to go through the appeal process. Uh, what else? I don't review the task if my commit was only by one way. Should I review? Uh, well, no, this time you will have no possibility to review as a, uh, the task of other students. But I hope uh, you will make the conclusion and you will avoid such cases in the future. So we will have um, a bunch of cross review. So you will have possibility to make review in the future. Don't worry. Okay, so uh, once again, to sum up, because you haven't submitted your work for cross check, you don't appear in the list of the distribution. So that's why you don't need to check other works. But later on, whenever you submit the work for the cross check, you'll be assigned for the several uh, uh, students' application to review. And for now, uh, if for some cases, yeah, you see that you uh, get confused. So let's go through the appellation process that is described in the documentation. Great. Uh, anything else anyone wants to ask? Okay, if not, I suppose we're good to close the webinar. Yeah, looks like no questions. Okay, in such case, thanks everyone. Thanks for your attention and don't forget to communicate to ask something that is not clear. Yeah, okay. Again, thanks and have a great week. Have a good week, my man.